Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Dev Mentors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we're going to see about styling our buttons and links using the button classes that is available in Bootstrap. So there's a lot of classes that are available in Bootstrap which makes our website look so good. And for buttons, we are having a set of button classes that actually add styles to our buttons. And these button classes can also be used for the anchor links. So in order to see the documentation, just go to the button section of the getbootstrap.com documentation. And you can see there, there are three main variants, which is the options that actually gives you a variety of colors in your buttons. And then the sizes that gives you different sizes in your buttons. And then there are states, which has two states. One is the active state and one is the disabled state. And uh, we can also use these classes along with the links, that is the anchor tags which makes it look like a button. So let's get on to the options. So we have these different types of buttons which has background colors and text based on that and uh, you have nearly seven types of this. So the first is the default button which is not having any kind of background. It's going to be just like a button with some uh, hover effects that makes it darker. And uh, these are used when you don't want any specific stylings to be done onto a button or a link and the primary button is a blue background white color text button so this is actually called as primary because you can see a lot of buttons in this color in a website which actually acts as a primary button for that particular website actually the success button just like every other classes that you have seen in the success where it would be green background and uh, it actually denotes that it is working well and then the info with a light blue color background and then the warning with a orangey background and then the danger button which has a red background and this link is a class that can be applied to a button making it to look like an anchor tag not as a button tag so this is used when you want a button to look like a link or an anchor tag you don't want that to be a button something like uh, you want a link to have a button function so you can actually add the classes directly to your button element and the btn is the common and the first class that you have to add and then you can add the respective classes I'll be giving you a brief uh, explanation on this with an example so don't worry about that and then the sizes we have three different sizes apart from the default size so the large small and extra small just like how you use the column you're also going to use the btn lg for large btn sm for small button and btn xs for extra small button and then we have this block level button that actually covers up the entire width of an area where you're going to use that button so if you want this to actually cover up the entire width that is the hundred percentage width you can use this block level all you have to add is btn block and then there are states active states actually denotes that the button will be pressed so it will be in the pressed state and the disabled state actually grays out your button and also makes it unavailable for clicking so you cannot do any action with that button so this can be used if you want the form to be having a submit button which has to be in the disabled state till the user completely fills up the entire form or the required fields in the form so this is going to add some effects to your form and then the anchor element so all these classes that you have seen for the buttons can also be applied for the anchor element that is the a so you don't have to worry whether you have to use the button or the link so you can use both both the styles will be applying but there are some problems in it you can see uh, there are some limitations that have been provided uh, they have clearly stated it so you cannot use the input so there are so there are three tags that you can use all these classes in the anchor element tag the button element and then the input with the button and submit but the problem in here is the button with the the input button uh, will have some problems with the Firefox as the plugins have some issues with it they cannot uh, correct it and also we have some problems in the disabled state in the Internet Explorer 9 and below where the style looks a little bit bad and they cannot correct it as well so this actually sums up all the classes that is given in the documentation let's see how to implement it in our example so I'm going to use the home page you can see that I have say uh, you can see that I have made some changes to home page I have actually changed the content of each columns in here I have changed the content from the lorem ipsum text to the images and list and with some link actually the first two columns has link and the third has the button actually it's a button element I'm going to show you the 
actual code for it so the first column the image and then the heading and then the list and then we having the link that is the anchor tag and then again the same image heading in the list and then the anchor tag here image heading list and then the button element so you can see that I am using the button tag in order to create a button in here so first of all I'm going to use the link and I'm going to use the btn class alone without any kind of classes that's going to give the color to me so now you can see that there is a nice little padding effect that has been added to the button and also you can see that when I hover over it I'm not getting an underline for the text and also the color of the text is changing to black and like this one you can see that there is an underline and also the color of the text changes into more darker blue so when I add the btn primary I'm going to sorry btn default when I add btn default I'm going to get a nice button look in here so you can see that I got an outline that is the border and then also the background color of the button has changed so there is also hover elements in this and now uh, for the next I'm just going to copy this class sorry about that and I'm going to paste it in here I'm going to change it to primary and also I'm going to change uh, I'm going to add the class to my button where I'm going to give success so now you can see that I have used three different buttons one is the default button one is the primary button and one is the success button so you can see that the respective background colors has been applied to the button so now I'm going to change the size of the button so the first button is going to be large btn lg sorry about that lg and then the next is btn sm excess so you might have not seen that the btn default is not there because we are not using that that is going to be the default size when you're not giving any kind of size to the button so now you can see that this is the large button this is the small button and this is the extra small button so you can see uh, see the change in the size from the previous one and the next thing that I want to show you is that I'm going to add the BTN link in here I'm going to change the BTN success also so just take it out and now this button will change into a link so that's something that you want to do when you want a particular submit button or a button to look like a link so that's going to change things for your styling as well and uh, we can also disable so let me show you the three different states sorry two different states just add the active in order to get the button pressed and then add the disable in order to make the sorry button unavailable and then we also have some of the elements that can actually this is looking like a button pressed state that is the active state and this is actually a disabled state where you cannot press it it's not going to have any effect and this is actually the link so we covered up all the classes that you can see in the button classes it's kind of a fast video because we have to actually experiment it your website will look good with some and may not look good with some other button classes so you have to experiment it and you can also change the color of the button just by using some more extra classes we have already seen how to add some uh, manual classes or the custom classes to a CSS uh, file and also add that class to your element so you have to follow the same method and you can add manual or custom classes to an element in your website and the next thing that I have to say to you is that these buttons can be applied to links buttons input elements and actually that covers up all the elements that I have to cover for this video this was a little bit faster because I have to cover a lot of button classes in this hope you understood it and if you find this video useful please like this video and subscribe to the channel and also share this video and if you have any kind of doubts issues suggestions and feedbacks please use the comment section of this video or the Facebook page or Twitter link thank you for watching this video have a great day